The air over Shanghai was thick with anticipation. On December 12, 2025, a sleek, wide-body jetliner taxied onto the runway at Pudong International Airport. This was the COMAX C929, China's bold answer to the giants of long-haul aviation. Its mission, a grueling 12,000-kilometer non-stop test flight, pushing its systems and engines to the limit. This flight was more than a technical evaluation, it was a declaration. For decades, the skies belonged to a Western duopoly. Today, China was making its most audacious move yet. As the C-929 lifted into the sky, a profound sense of achievement settled over mission control. The flight plan simulated the demanding routes the C-929 is meant to serve. A 13-hour marathon deep into the Pacific and back. On board, test pilots and engineers monitored thousands of data points from sensors embedded throughout the airframe. Every vibration, temperature fluctuation, and drop of fuel was recorded. This single flight represented years of national effort and billions in investment. News of the C-929's journey rippled through the global aviation community. In boardrooms worldwide, executives watched with curiosity and concern. A successful 12,000-kilometer flight is a major milestone, demonstrating engineering maturity that can't be ignored. This was a direct challenge in the most profitable, demanding segment of commercial aviation. When B001X touched down in Shanghai under the evening lights, the mission was declared a resounding success. The aircraft had performed flawlessly, meeting or exceeding key benchmarks for fuel burn, efficiency, and reliability. The C929 was no longer a distant dream. It was a real flying machine with intercontinental range. For nearly half a century, long-haul air travel has been defined by two companies, Boeing and Airbus. Their rivalry has shaped the way the world flies, from the iconic 747 to the revolutionary A380. These giants dominate the lucrative wide-body market, connecting continents and cultures. Their jets are the backbone of global airline fleets, built on engineering prowess and deep customer relationships. The competition between Boeing and Airbus has driven innovation, improved safety, and lowered costs for airlines and passengers. Entering this exclusive club is incredibly difficult, requiring massive investment, expertise, and a global support network. Building an aircraft is only half the battle. Airlines need confidence in long-term support and maintenance. Boeing and Airbus have near insurmountable advantages with service centers and logistics hubs worldwide. The C929's ambition is not just to build a plane, but to replicate this entire ecosystem from the ground up. Success in the long-haul market brings immense revenue and national prestige. Challenging Boeing and Airbus is one of the greatest industrial feats of the modern era. COMAC was established in 2008 with a clear mandate, break the Western grip on commercial aviation. The C929 is the crown jewel of China's strategy to achieve technological independence and global influence. Initially, a joint venture with Russia, the project soon became a primarily Chinese effort aiming to leap from regional to long-haul markets. The goal served China's booming international travel needs and become a credible export contender. By creating a domestic alternative, China aims to redirect billions in aircraft purchases back into its own economy. The C929 project is a catalyst, pulling up hundreds of Chinese companies in advanced materials, avionics, and manufacturing. Mastering wide-body aircraft design is a powerful indicator of national self-sufficiency and technological sovereignty. The C929 is an investment in a future where China sets the standards, not just follows them. The C929's journey from blueprint to prototype was marked by setbacks and breakthroughs. Early optimism faded as engineers faced the immense complexity of a world-class wide-body jet. The initial partnership with Russia dissolved, pushing China to go it alone. COMAC invested heavily in design software, manufacturing and testing, mastering composite fuselage construction. The C929's high percentage of carbon fiber reinforced plastics was a huge technical leap for China. Quiet victories, wind tunnel tests, Ironbird rigs, and software debugging built the foundation for flight. The long march was arduous, but it forged a new generation of Chinese aerospace engineers. The 12,000-kilometer test flight was a flying laboratory validating years of design. Fuel efficiency was a key focus, with analysts monitoring engine burn rates and aerodynamic performance. The advanced wing and lightweight composites aimed to deliver real reductions in drag and weight. Every system was tested for endurance, flight management, environmental controls, and fly-by-wire stability. The airframe's carbon fiber structures were monitored for stress and durability at high altitude. 
This data validated computer models and informed long-term maintenance planning. The test flight proved the C929 could function as an integrated, reliable system. Positive feedback from test pilots suggested Comac had created a well-balanced, capable machine. The successful test flight was just the beginning. The next challenge is certification. The C929 must pass exhaustive reviews by China's CAAC, involving thousands of hours of flight and ground testing. Regulators will scrutinize every aspect from landing gear strength to software code. For global sales, the C929 must also win approval from the FAA and ESA. These agencies will conduct independent reviews, setting the global benchmark for safety. Achieving FAA and ESA certification is a major technical and political hurdle. Success would give the C929 a passport to fly worldwide, failure would confine it to China and a few allies. The path to global acceptance is long, but the stakes could not be higher. The world is watching to see if China's new jet can truly compete on the international stage. Side by side with its rivals, the C929 is a carefully positioned competitor. The C929 600 seats 280-300 passengers, directly challenging the Boeing 7879 and Airbus A350-900. Its 12,000-kilometer range matches the heart of the modern long-haul market. Comac isn't reinventing the wheel. It's matching the leaders in capacity and range. The successful test flight proved this ambitious range is achievable. The real test is efficiency. The 787 and A350 are masterpieces of fuel economy and advanced materials. Airlines buy on operating economics. Even a small fuel disadvantage can cost millions. Comac claims double-digit efficiency gains over older jets, but must match current leaders to win orders. Initial data is promising, but the final verdict depends on production models and Chinese-made engines. If the C929 can match its rivals on fuel burn and price, it will be a formidable new choice for airlines. No part of a modern airliner is more complex or strategic than its engine. For the C929's test flights, Comac used proven Western engines, but the long-term goal is a Chinese-made power plant. The CJ2000 engine, developed by AECC, aims to match the thrust and efficiency of Western rivals. Mastering jet engine technology is a monumental challenge, demanding advanced metallurgy and precision manufacturing. If successful, China would eliminate a major point of foreign dependency and capture more economic value. An all-Chinese airframe and engine would symbolize true aerospace independence, but building a competitive engine is notoriously difficult. Reliability, efficiency, and maintenance will be the ultimate tests. The fate of the CJ2000 will shape the destiny of the C929 and China's aviation ambitions. The C929's successful flight is a seismic event, signaling China's arrival as a top-tier aerospace power. It validates China's long-term industrial strategy and closes the technology gap with the West. For Boeing and Airbus, the C929 is the most significant challenge in a generation. China's vast domestic market will sustain the C929 as it builds a track record. Over time, as reliability and economics are proven, the C929 will win orders in Asia, Africa, and Latin America. The geopolitical implications are profound. Aviation is now a new front in global competition. The C929 gives nations more options, reducing dependency on Western suppliers. It becomes a tool of Chinese foreign policy, forging new industrial partnerships. The battle for the skies will mirror broader geopolitical rivalries, the era of the comfortable duopoly is ending. Boeing and Airbus must now contend with a determined new rival. This competition could spur innovation and offer airlines more choice and better pricing. The C929's journey has just begun but its impact is already reshaping the future of aviation. The world of flight will never be the same.